Hi, it's Steve again with the Canadian Dreamer. Got another product in today. It's a uh, smoke detector. Well, it's disguised as a smoke detector, but it's a spy camera or a camera for in your house. Could also be used like a nanny, nanny cam or burglar camera. A variety of uses. And it's the uh, Cam Duck. They have several products, but I'll go over this one. So open her up. First thing we see is the um, formative uh, user manual. Explains every step of the process, everything about your camera. So you've got to keep that handy. But uh, just follow along with it. It's very easy to follow. Then the camera itself. off button the camera inside you can see how it rotates you can actually rotate it with your app and uh, see different angles or different uh, locations always make sure on the cam duck that you look underneath the um, inside the box here underneath the holder they got the um, charge cable and also power cable you got screws and plugs depending on how you're going to mount it and they're always nice to send um, an SD card reader the SD card reader Very useful. And the little uh, it's almost like a pick for a guitar, but it's not. It's a pick that you use to access the panel on the camera. Nice little pick. Okay, getting to know your camera. Some of the features. Here's the on off button. You got the built in uh, indicator lights here. You'll see when I plug it in how the lights flash blue and red. Obviously, the lens here, hidden camera lens. There's a uh, take the back off. It slides off like a normal smoke detector would. This is the plate to mount it on the ceiling. And looking at the back, uh, non-replacement battery, do not remove battery. Just leave the battery in, it's rechargeable. There is this uh, tab on the one end so that it's not making contact while in transport. But you pull off the plastic tab, then it's good to go. And there's different ways of uh, charging the battery and running the camera. Right here is the um, 120 if you want to get it wired directly in as the same as some smoke detectors are rather than just relying on the battery but if you don't know exactly what you're doing get a certified electrician to do that part okay now we got this plate here this is where the pick comes in handy just pop it off comes right off and what we have here is the type C charge port right here and then you also have uh, where you put an SD slot it's where you put in your SD card and obviously the battery compartment Okay, once you have your uh, SD card, micro SD, you just insert it into the slot. It can only go in one way. Just pop it in, 
clicks a little bit and it's all set okay once you got the SD card in you can put your plate back on but I'm gonna power it with with the supplied type C port there's three options to power this camera you can do the direct connect with the 120 that's what we call it here in Canada some call it 110 120 um, AC power you can power the camera through the C port which I'm doing just in case I didn't have it charged up quite enough and the third option is to just use the internal battery after you charge it it will last between six and eight hours So I'm going to plug in the C-Type, and I have it to power bank. You can use a power bank as an option. Now you press the power button, hold it for three seconds. You can see the lights come on, blue and a red. They flash for a while and then they will go out okay now uh, to get the app to operate the camera you either scan the provided QR code in the manual or you can just go to you know, for Android Android you just go to the Play Store or iPhone you go to the App Store and you search for CIXICM then you download it I already have but downloaded because I've had a different product that I've been using it's a um, it's a plug-in for your wall socket that you can charge your your electronics on you can even plug in 120 I'll put a link in the comments in the description sorry if you uh, want to look at that also there's a, I've got a video instructional video showing how that operates but anyway back to the cam app so you just open it up hit start Please connect once you to the follow the instructions then you'll to have the to app. connect to the camera wi-fi Please connect to the camera it'll wifi, show up then return on your to the settings app. for your wi-fi's please connect to the camera wi-fi then return to the app please connect to the camera wi-fi then return to the app Connecting. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi. And then you can see how it talks app. to you, gives you instruction. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi, then return to the app. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi, then return to the app. Connect. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi. Now return, then to, the return app. to the app. So just close that. Please connect to the camera Wi. Return to the app. And there we are. You can see my beautiful face. Once we got her live, uh, you can also, it's on, uh, it's got 1080. It's also got 4 megapixel. Put it on the 4, it's a lot clearer than the 1080. And uh, 1080. I mean four that's four so you can see it's quite a bit clearer use a little more uh, space on your SD card okay there's a nice picture there now you can uh, take a photo just press the photo tab smile take a nice photo you can set an alarm. There's the album file. It just shows what you've recorded to review it. One for video, one for pictures. Now we got, the, like I said, the record. You just press record. La 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 la. Recording. Then you press it again and it goes off. And it saves it. You can expand it. 
a lot better to view. Once again, you can hit record. Indicates recording on the bottom. Hit record again. Stop it. Saves it. So you just look through the different options there. Works very well. Now, to, to, to pan, tilt, zoom. So you just hit the PTZ or Z, and then you can turn the camera. You can see it actually turning on the desk. Whoa, whoa. I'll set down my phone here and show you. See it rotating? Beautiful. So there's a lot of different options. Just look through them. Okay, I'm going to mount it and then do a little bit more video. Okay, once you pick your strategic location, for me, I'm going to stick it in the hallway toward my bedroom. And then uh, should be able to cover anything happening to and from when I'm not around. And then you get the plate mounted with the supplied screws. You can see the notches on here, you just line it up and twist it. You can see the camera lens is facing the wrong way, but I can simply turn it to whatever direction you want. You can also turn it with the app. Okay, logged in. And you can see, looking right down the hallway, look at the wide angle on that. Beautiful. And uh, let's see if we can turn it. First we'll do a little recording. Let's try a little recording. And PTZ. And there we go. Turn the camera to whatever angle you want. So that's how she works. Uh, nice clear picture. Uh, let's try the uh, zoom again. PDZ. You can turn the camera as you'd like. And you can also zoom in. Zoom in on my beautiful head. Zoom out. So that's handy. You can zoom in. Uh, take picture maybe Take more video. Hey, who's that crazy guy in the hallway? And that'll do it Let me know if you have any questions and there will be a link in the description if you're interested in getting one